So this beautiful, beautiful colour that's going to be with us for January. Russet brown, that, that deep, deep brown that a fox could be or the, the bright brown that some of your amazing old English apples can be somewhere between those two places. And it's a pretty interesting vibration when I look at it because it's, it's both very still, building on the colours of the November and the, the kind of ice blue and the violet. So it's still got that stillness in it, but also it's got an amazing swirling vibration. So kind of how can it have both at the same time? But it does. It's got this place of centre and dynamism. So think of this russet brown as really being a key catalyst or initiator for the space between things. That's what's really key when we think about this russet brown colour. And when we think about how that shows up in our day-to-day -day lives, can be a really brilliant question for you, like, where is the place of space between? Space between your thoughts, space between your actions, space between your emotions, space between your to-do list, all of those places, space between your cells, how your body is able to function in its vi vitality, in its bigness in its balance, in its peace, space between other people, your relationships. What is that space between you? Is it supportive, nurturing for you and for the other person or people involved? And because it is such a kind of a total colour, it's going to meet your body in all of those spaces between as well. And that means total meeting point. Your entire body system will be invited to engage with this color without exception. It holds the capacity for disintegrating or um, integrating places of imbalance and activating places of balance because of this potential within every known space or known emotion. So you can think of it a little bit as, as a seed colour. It's an initiatory colour. When we think of some of the ways that your body can meet that energy, then your aura becomes absolutely key this month. That amazing biofield that emanates from deep inside your core, emanates from deep inside the electromagnetic cells that radiates out from you and creates your incredible energy field that everything that you are physically resides within. This russet brown is strong, it's grounded, it's deep. So it means that if we can get your aura working with it in the way that your aura is designed to, then actually you can be held strong and grounded and deep, even as this cosmic vibration invites you to go deep in your understandings, in your mind, connect deeply into your soul. This upcoming month of January is really about how do you hold, hold strong, even as you're transforming, even as you're emerging. How do you commit to your soul? What do you need to be able to experience the rolling richness of your own soul energy? If there was one thing you would change in your day-to-day -day life to really support that, what would it be? I would love to know. Maybe pop that in the chat below when you can bring an answer to that question forward and it might take a month for you to really find that but what's necessary so that you can step by step support your soul emergence in its fullness and its authenticity in its juiciness in its wisdom in its power what is that one thing that you could start today changing in your life so that actually you can be in your real fullness let's do Let's do a practice so that your aura can be fully supported 
as we move through this transition time of the violet and the russet brown. All right, the aura. Let's ah, just take a moment of being mindful. Pop both hands over your chest, connecting into that amazing heart center. If it feels good to you, then bring a little rock in. Mm, anything that just helps you be aware that you have a body and that your body is utterly splendid, even if it doesn't fit the ideal of a perfect body, even if it has parts of itself that are sore or are working with health challenges. It's still an amazing body, still much more in its balance, in its fullness, in its activated template of health than anything else. So give some gratitude to your body. And honouring the space in between every one of your cells, the space in between your skin and the edge of your aura, that amazing auric membrane. I want you to breathe in and as you do so, imagine that you're breathing in through every single pore in your skin. So you're bringing that energy from outside your physicality, bring the energy from your aura deep into your body. And then as you breathe out, breathe it out through every single pore. That means the bottom of your feet, the inside of your legs, the outside, your back, your belly, your front, your face, your arms. Breathing right out. Breathing in again. Really visualizing, imagining, holding the intention that your energy can follow into the center of yourself. And breathing out through every pore again. Good. Let's bring one hand onto the top of the head, the other one still on the heart, and do the same thing, breathing into the center. And you can squeeze both those hands as if together they could touch. And breathing out through every pore. Okay. I want you to really take your attention to the space around your body. That place between your skin and the area that your aura fills. You can imagine, think, even extend your arm right out just gently to where your fingertips are, you can perceive, know that all of that space around your body is filled with your energy. So just tune into that space. If it had a color right now, what would that color be? Whatever the first answer that came to your mind. Just run that colour through your auras. If you had a giant paintbrush, maybe you can rub your hands together and imagine that your palms are pouring that colour and just thread them through that space that's your aura. And you can go down underneath your feet. You can put your hands behind you, filling that space. Ah, nice. Mm. That amazing auric membrane, the skin of your aura, beautiful, thick, elastic. Fill that with that color too. Okay. And you can do that anywhere. You can do that practice when you're 
sitting on a bus, sitting in your front room, lying in bed, chatting to a friend. Keep your physicality really strong and supported this month so that you can really connect into, wow, the unfolding and the bigness of the potential of this month. <laughs>